All right, this sweet KTM 690 Enduro R is another build that's really bitching. So this came about, if you saw our 701 Husky build, this came about the same way. A couple guys went to Iceland, they did a bitching tour around there, they rode stock 701s and realized those bikes are capable of a lot of cool off-road with some transferring down the freeway, kind of a bike that does it all. With this bike, obviously the first thing you notice is this big ass tower on the front making it look super cool and race ready and adventure kind of thing. This is made by Aurora Rally. This is the Aurora Rally light setup. It is easy to put on, directions are straightforward. It's super bitching because they have USB ports, a couple of those. Anything that comes off your normal stock tower, there are ports and areas for that everywhere. Plug and play, connect it. It's got space up here for like your Trail Tech Voyager, any other GPS. It's got little cable kind of guides. They've kind of thought this thing out for different options of what you want to run and how to wire it and where to put all your switches and your cool stuff. Uh, on the front here, this is upgraded with a Baja Design Squadron light. So if you're familiar with any of the Baja Design stuff that's crazy bright, that's gonna help you out on your night rides, be seen on the street during the day, whatever you need to do. Super cool upgrade on that. All right, with this Aurora Rally Tower setup, you also get the full shrouds down the side here, and they bolt together, come and wrap around, and then this windscreen really kind of kicks air up over your head. That's super nice wind protection for, for hooking down the road at speed. So if you look closely, it's kind of trick. The Yoshimira little small turn signals, the LEDs, they bolt right up to this, and they kind of tuck in behind this windscreen, so they're, they're completely out of harm's way, and they're still super visible through the clear screen right here. So the cockpit on this 690 starts off with some Carmichael Bend Pro Taper bars. They're lower. They're lower because underneath those bars is an MSC Moto stabilizer. It's kind of a cool little tidbit of information. Toby Price runs these things. So these are adjustable on the fly. You can kind of crank on it left or right. Less resistance, more resistance, depending on the terrain. Uh, the grips, pillow top Pro Tapers, super comfy on the hands. And these tiny little circles right here, reflecting light, those are double take mirrors. They're super sleek, kind of like minimalistic style thing. If you, you can still kind of see behind you when you need to, but you're not on the road a lot having to see everything behind you. So that day glow orange little cover right down here over the sprocket, Aurora Rally makes that. That is a case saver. The unfortunate event, your chain does something weird or you have a malfunction or a rock sucks in there. That's gonna keep that thing from destroying your cases and costing you a lot more money than that little guard cost you. Getting rid of the stock seat, seat concepts, gets a little wider than stock back here for more comfort on longer rides. Um, if you notice the difference between this and the 701, 701 kind of that, that seat wraps up here and almost becomes part of the shrouds. The 690 is just different that way. So it's a little different feel. Underneath the seat, Rottweiler Performance Intake System, it's a whole deal where their air filter goes on there and it all goes right into the throttle body. Um, to adjust for the, the better intake of air, there's a Rottweiler Performance uh, Power Commander, and that just tunes to go with better intake into the motor, and when you have better intake in the motor, you got better exit out of the motor. Aero exhaust is helping that. So again, this motor's kind of opened up, it breathes better, the exhaust flows out better, and the Power Commander makes everything run smoothly with no popping or snapping. All right, so this 690, uh, our 512 rider, he uh, he's a little faster, a little bigger, and didn't want super comfort all the time. This is more kind of dirt oriented. So the suspension, Alex over at Conflict Suspension went through this whole thing. And so it's stiffer springs front and rear. The valving is all beefed up based on a little more performance oriented. The reason for the little bit stiffer is you do have a tower on the front and occasionally there's gonna be bags on the back. So you're always gonna to have to find that balance of what you're doing with these bikes. These bikes have a lot. We ask a lot of these bikes. People wanna hammer them off road. They wanna be comfortable and then they wanna carry things on it and they wanna bolt stuff up. This bike was working really well right now, but with uh, experience with the Kuba Link in the back on another bike on the 701 project, we, uh, we really like the way it kind of brought the back end down. So that's the next step on this. We won't have to valve or change anything. It's just gonna bring the attitude of the bike a little more level. So we've mentioned a million times, these bikes are expensive. You don't wanna drop them. You don't wanna smash a rock through the case. So on this bike ran an AXP skid plate. It's a poly skid plate. So it's a, it's a soft, it's not steel, it's kind of like a plastic mix, high-tech plastic, but it offers a little more sliding. If you do land up on something, it will take a gouge before it takes you know a hard crack in other kind of material. This one runs under the linkage, which is nice. So if you do get in a weird situation or a rock spits up, you're not smashing the knuckle on your rear shock. So Rottweiler Performance also 
you know, they make cool dongles for overriding your stuff or saving your settings. So this has ABS dongle, uh, fuel dongle, and a kickstand dongle. So we beefed up the stock clutch slave cylinder, um, ditched that and got this Oberon clutch slave cylinder. It's a little more beefy, a little gnarlier, and uh, we really like it. Some of the kind of engine modifications, trick little stuff is a Samcone silicone hose kit. You can replace all those radiator hoses and their clamps for those hoses. So getting down to the drivetrain on this, uh, we have a DDC rear sprocket. These are super burly. They look really cool because they kind of have all that material deleted out of them. Um, and then stock chain for now and stock gearing. So your last connection with any bike is the tires between you and the dirt. So on this bike, we have Shinko tires. Out back, we have a 520A, and that is a 120 rear tire. I love this tire. These are very aggressive tires. Up front, we have the Shinko 216 Fatty. Um, these tires obviously are very dirt oriented. This rider, this bike is about 99% dirt. So this bike is not hooking down the freeway. If it hits the asphalt, it's literally to bank a turn and find the next dirt to get back on. So inside these Shinko tires, we have the Nitro Moose. This is their new adventure moose. It's a little more burly. It's made to withstand heat more. It's a little more dense because you can't just put a stock 500cc dirt bike moose in here because this weight's just gonna collapse them and cook them. All right, so some other little tidbits on this bike. We have the IMS Enduro peg. It's a little wider, a little, little fatter than the stock peg, but it's not a full adventure peg that sticks way out. Uh, these are still comfortable on long rides, and obviously this bike's more off-road oriented. On the shifter, we replaced the little rubber tip with a Tusk little kit here, a little folding shifter tip from Rocky Mountain. Dumping the stock little gas cap back here, we have a Vanash little billet cap here with a little cord, you can't lose it. Pop that off, you have a Twin Air little kind of filter here. You never know what's gonna drop in there, this is off, whatever. Little filter, double filter, another filter going to the motor, keep that gas clean. All right, since the stock kind of rear tail on this for holding your light and your turn signals is massive. That got ditched and a Rottweiler uh, performance little tail thing here, this billet cool license plate. It doubles as a license plate holder. It has turn signals built in and your brake light. All right, for this entire build, all Maxima stuff was used. Inside the fork oil, for the shock oil, motor oil, of course, and then they have a new off-road oriented uh, coolant for the radiators. So front to back, even included in the SC1 look-alike fork guards. If you like SC1, you're going to love that. All right, so overall, this 690 build is obviously just by the looks, this is very off-road oriented. The, the owner of this bike loves to ride off-road. Not a lot of highway cruising, not a lot of street cruising. This thing was all designed about going fast off-road. Uh, loves Baja, loves fire roads, likes getting lost on some single track, and overall just being kind of an aggressive rider. So he treats this thing a lot like you probably treat your 500 EXC, except it weighs a lot more and goes a lot faster and makes a lot more noise.